Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the MCM Game Stage. Yes, it's sort of like. Right, so we got a great little session of the, like, planned. Um, without further ado, I'm just going to introduce Neil Gorton, Capcom UK Community Manager, and, and the voice of Wesker, DC Douglas. Take a seat, take a seat, sir. Actually, uh, uh, the fourth voice of Albert Wesker, because I believe today we're going to hear uh, the amazing Peter Jessup uh, on this game, uh, who is one of the people that I had to uh, uh, incorporate when I took over the role in 2007. So, uh, but yes, I'm uh, glad to be here. Welcome. Good, good British accent. All right. I'm glad to be here. You've been working on that. Just so you know, Wesker has slight British. At least that's how I was supposed to do it. So I, I actually do know how to do a British accent fully. If it comes to that, um, how, many, how many Resident Evil cosplayers are out there? There's loads, there's loads so, of them. I definitely saw that Wesker come in. I saw this Wesker, good top. I saw there was Catcom, there's Rule 63 Dante there as well. Very cool. Thank you for showing up. Um, here we are uh, as DC takes this selfie. Um, That's brilliant. We have Resident Evil, uh, backed by popular demand. This is a very exciting time, particularly in my job. Um, because what Capcom Japan are doing are really listening to fan feedback, um, especially over the last year. So every time you tweet or message on Facebook uh, to Resident Evil, it's either me or my American counterpart. So although we can't respond to absolutely everything, we do read everything you say and we collate everything you say. So what we've been hearing uh, since the last one is you guys want to go back to the original. And so, as you know, uh, we have this coming out in early 2015. We've literally gone right back to the start to bring you Resident Evil once again to see what you make of that. If you like that, that's, that's one way the series can go. We also have uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, which is uh, continuing the survival horror theme because that's another thing we hear from you, um, that you really want the, the franchise to go back to its survival horror roots. So I imagine I'm going to play a little bit of this. Um, <laughs> because if I was trying to play it, I wouldn't be able to even walk. <laughs> I'm going to say, don't, don't feel you're going to offend me here, but hands up if you actually have a question about Resident Evil. All right. And then hands up if you have a question for DC. <laughs> All right. We're a very content group. That's very nice. Very content. <laughs> very content. So I'll start playing. All right. Uh, and by all means, we can chat. And if Dan wants to, to throw it up to the audience, um, I'll, I'll venture forth. And see you can venture forth. You, you can sit here as well. Let me get. Uh, I'll sit here for a bit. Let me uh, get warmed up. It's time for Neil to play Resident Evil. So here we are. Very good. You get you get an applause for absolutely everything. I've been working on the voice. Oh, that's really good. Um, so we have like options. You can do like the original tank controls that are, the Resident Evil came with, or you've got the more modern iteration. Um, let me just get started here. Okay, I'm going to go for... I'm we like your games. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm not going to go for hard because dying in front of all these people is, is going to be quite embarrassing. Like taking a walk. Oh, like taking Neil. A ride. Oh, Neil. <laughs> You're going to have to work harder to make them boo me. I'm pretty likable. No, not you. We're <laughs> Chris Redfield. Redfield. Oh, being Chris Redfield. Chris. <laughs> I, I was booing Neil, sorry. Okay, so at least you were. <laughs> so like, another big thing, listening to like, fan feedback, is uh, we wanted everyone to get involved with the campaign for Resident Evil. So one of the things that you guys unlocked on Facebook was uh, using the, the BSAA -like versions of Chris and Jill. So that's something that these guys did. It wasn't originally going to be in there, but there was like, such a demand on Good Facebook. Good job, guys. Well that's all down to you. So I'm going to go with uh, Jill. Uh, yeah, uh, who wouldn't? And away we go. Eventually. Please don't turn off your phone. Please don't, don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Oh, thank God. Close one. Here we go. 
Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City. But we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Does that look a lot better than the original one? Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Safe for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Oh. 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 Hey, look at that, that's beautiful. We look continued that. our search for the other members. Can I hear it? It's Wesker and people! It turned into a nightmare. Pre leather jacket Wesker as well. Yeah. But still svelte and muscular. It's like this is before he did his rounds of steroids. <laughs> but look at that, that's pretty pretty wild the graphics, the uh, fluidity of it now. Do you know what happens next? Bad stuff happens next. It's all gonna go very wrong for these guys. Three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. Chris. I'm just, every time I say his name, I'm gonna say What is Chris. this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. Chris. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? Chris? No! Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. Chris! Alright. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp! Oh, Barry. Seriously, the graphics look really good on this. You're obviously excited to see Wesker. Is he is he larger, dude? I am a well dino. excited to see Barry. That's a guy I can relate to. Yeah, I'm a Barry kind of guy. All right, so here we are. Here's Jill. Oh, you're, are you, so you're, you're Jill, right? I'm Jill. Can you tell me? I, I, I just realized you picked a woman to play. Well, it's Jill. I understand. Because at heart, you feel like a, a, a young girl. Well, if they'd let me play Barry, I would play as Barry. All right, all right. But I I'm not much like... of a Chris man. So here we have the famous locked-off camera angles. They're all still retained. 
I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Could be blood. Blood. Very good. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. He's gonna play with let's the blood. Just hope it's not Chris's. Chris's. Doesn't that strike you as a call? Like, you go explore the scary mansion. Exactly right. <laughs> I'll stay here. This is important work, working on this blood. So uh, you go do stuff. Fire. Go risk your life. Fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finger paint. So for the benefit of those that don't know out there, although I'm sure they know you very well, um, when did you take over as Wesker? Uh, it's funny because, yeah, the name of this panel is 18 years of Resident Evil, as I think, yeah. So that, and I just realized, so I've been doing it for seven years. I think the first one I did was in 2007, which was Umbrella Chronicles. Uh, which actually, no, if it came out in 2007, that meant that I recorded it in 2006. So I can say for the last eight years. Woo! Um, but uh, yeah, so that's when I, I started doing it. Umbrella Chronicles came back, auditioned for RE5, and was in that, and then I've been doing it since as well. So um, yeah, it's been I've been grateful, and I know Peter Jessup actually. Uh, we have the same uh, voiceover agent, so saw him in the. Uh, he wasn't available to do Umbrella Chronicles, which is when I but then went to me, and so I ran into him in the uh, waiting room one day, and I said, I, I just want to. Uh, I hope you're not mad at me. And he's like, No, no, no. He was very gracious. Uh, it was really sweet. I've never met Richard Wong. I'd love to one day because uh, uh, I bet he's a cool cat and uh, I'd love to thank him as well. Uh, Sergio Jones, who knows where he is. <laughs> so how many Weskers have been in the room at the same time? Two? Only two Weskers have been in the room at the same time, yes. Though so I'm waiting for a convention. That'd be so awesome. If a convention would like to bring all four of us, that would, how kind of amazing that would be, the Wesker panel with all four of us on stage. I think that'd be awesome. We'll see what we can do. Comes. Look behind you. I got a plan to take oh, care of this. Yeah. I'm gonna let Barry <laughs> take care of him. Don't open that door. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! I love that he had time to say that instead of shooting. What the hell is so, this thing? Wait, so this is the... I found Kenneth forgive my ignorance on this. This is the original thing. one, Resident Evil. Let's Resident Evil. To Wesker. And then it was redone for Game the GameCube. Game. Yes. And this is a re-rendering of the GameCube version, which yes. is why Sergio Jones is not on the original voice track of this. Okay. Will we get a Jill sandwich? Do you know what? The Jill sandwich line is not in here. It's too. not in this one? You were almost a sandwich. Oh! Right! Booing starts already. Oh wow! And what about the other one where uh, he goes, uh, "Wait, don't open that door." Is that is that in this? That's the original, original, but is it in this one also? He probably says it differently. Probably like, "Don't open that door." <laughs> hey Google, hi. Neil, tell us what else has been done to the game. Then. So prettier graphics or anything else? The graphic issue, 5.1 sound, um, and yeah, Wesker! you can like... Wesker! Where's he gone? Jill, help me look for him. Let's Lots of like little different wall. things, like Good in idea. the background where it used to just be like a static picture of the tree. They've like went in and actually like put a tree there now that sways in the wind, add a more dynamic light into it. It's just to help immerse you in the whole Resident Evil experience. Okay. Do you guys who know the original and all that, do you guys see the difference? Yeah? Cool. Okay, we can't go out there yet. Not that way, Jill. Not that way, Jill. She is very sexy. So, like, Barry's got some cheesy lines. What are the, the sort of cheesy lines you've been made to say as Wesker? None. I love yeah. every line I've ever said Any for Jill? Capcom no, Resident Evil. Nothing. What's going on around here? We're on I live, can't figure people. It out. We're streaming. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. Chris. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try <laughs> to find love that side. dining room. He's <laughs> a big man, I can relate. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lot big. 
You'd make better use of it. She is yeah, being master. that you're going to stay in the dining room the whole time. She is the master of unlocking, to be fair. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Do we know who the voice actors are in these? Because I okay. listen to that. Uh, I don't, unfortunately. No, don't. I don't. You don't know. Uh, is that no, Scott do you guys know? I, yeah, let's kind of go in there. Google? Who, who's Jill and who's Barry in this? Oh, I thought you would have known offhand. Does anybody know offhand? You people. <laughs> you guys partied hard last night. Just, just, not, vo just not into voice actors, what can I say? <laughs> Except DC Douglas. Well, who isn't into DC And you can always learn more about me at dcdouglas.com. <laughs> Good plug. To carry over from my other panel. Good plug. <laughs> wow. Strong. Strapping your less. So you actually knew to do this. Like most people would go in their room, they have to figure this out. I'm going by memory of about eight years ago. Uh -huh. so it's going to get pretty hazy pretty soon. Uh, who, for who, which one is this, Barry? Ed Sparrow? So, Ed Smarron. Ed Smarrow? Smaron. Smaron. S F A. -R. Wow, I've never heard of that. What about Jill? Who is Jill? Heidi Anderson. All right. Do you know Heidi? I don't know Heidi. I don't know either of those people. Oh, but this is. Wait, are you looking at the original original? Or are you looking at the GameCube version? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. How about that? Yeah. No, I don't know who either of those people are. They probably gave up their careers. They're back in Idaho now. No, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. You probably have amazing careers. <laughs> you can check. That's what I have these. Oh, yeah, you can check. Click on their names. Have they done anything since? What are they doing now? You should do that. Maybe they've done something really big. Like Jill. What has Jill done recently? I mean, mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> That'd be hysterical if you, like, died, like, right here. Oh, it and, can like, happen. This is an example of how you played. Yeah. He is playing it on super easy. Oh, are you? This is super easy. There they are. Is he staying down? This is actually spooky, though. I see what people mean by the whole dread kind of uh, dread moody thing in don't, a game as opposed to the, you know. Don't play it with the lights out. It'll scar you. And scare you. Uh, uh, Heidi, what has she done? Did you look up Heidi? Killer 7? Killer 7? Is that, that's a game? Yeah. When did that come out? Uh, 2005. That was the last thing she's done? That's the last thing. Oh, okay. So she done some voiceover stuff. All right. <laughs> Sorry. She probably does a lot of theater. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do you, uh, you want to open up for questions for DC? Yeah, I'm going to wander into the crowd. Does anybody have any questions? We've got some stuff to give away, Neil, I do believe, right? We do. Uh, anyone can have those in the corner, although DC has some signed goodies oh, here. Oh, somebody's got a quick. we got some back we've got there. Loads of questions. You know what? I'm going to wander back. Let's come back here first. Young lady with the red dress. Here we go. That's a question. Hi, um, I'm Dan, that was, will there be like additional puzzles in this one? Are the, are the puzzles the same or have you changed them on our new ones? That was what you asked, right? Yeah. So the no. puzzles are the same in the, the GameCube version as they are in this one. So there's, there's not been like additional puzzles added to that one. So if you can still remember or still have the guide how to do it. I can't. <laughs> you'll whiz through it. Thank you for your question though. Go here. And this goes on a platform. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this goes on a new platform now. Right? Like, what platform is this on? This will be the first Resident Evils on like uh, the next gen platform. So oh, okay. this will be on like Xbox One, PS4. Okay. But you'll be able to get it for like 360, PS3 as well, and PC. <laughs> okay. What's your favourite character other than Wesker? Ooh. That's for you, Neil. Is that for me or for, <laughs> <laughs> for both? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, Barry, I think Barry's is yours, is that right? Barry's definitely been my favorite, because I've always been like a heavy set guy, and I like the idea that heavy set guys can be action heroes as well. Oh, right. Although, if you if you like get to see uh, Revelations 2, we might turn that on in a minute, as you're all Resident Evil fans. Um, 
Moira Burton, Barry Burton's daughter, continues on that Burton like lineage of just having just the lines that just make you go, what? Only a Burton could, could come out with that. I'm very proud to see that that's been retained. Um, I'm going to say, because again, I don't really get to play the games. I see cutscenes and stuff like that. But I would have to say, though, I, I, uh, after seeing Leon, he, I, my hair looked exactly like that in the, in the uh, early 90s. Um, I, I have a whole, I had the whole swoop. In fact, I did, a, I did an episode of um, General Hospital, and I, and the whole time you only see one of my eyes during my scenes on that show, <laughs> and it was the whole Leon hairdo. Um, but of course, obviously, I, you know, Roger Craig Smith is Chris is pretty awesome. Chris, uh, it's pretty awesome. Do you get on with Chris, like in real life? With uh, Roger Craig? Oh yeah, yeah he's awesome. We, um, he actually, uh, I'm on a cartoon called Transformers Rescue Bots. And he did a guest spot. Yeah, baby. Good hey, third, uh, third season starts uh, airing uh, next week, next, sat next Saturday, yeah. Um, and uh, anyway, he came in to do a guest spot on the show. And I, like, I, did, a, I did a little video. You can find it on YouTube. Um, little, again, another fan service thing that I hopefully don't get in trouble for. Um, the, but he was there in the hallway. We had Steve Bloom, and so I asked him, let's just do a little video thing for the fans. So um, we have a thing in the, in the hallway where I ask him to give me an egg. I like I tap him on the shoulder, he turns around and he's like, Wesker. And I'm like, you will give me an egg. And then Steve Bloom goes, eggs make me want to go bang. <laughs> right. right, the question? Um, what is your favorite line of Wesker? Like, you know, it's, uh, it's, again, it is so, everybody's said so many lines over the, over the years that it's like, I, I, all I do is hear their lines. I can't remember mine. I mean, I, I, I don't even remember the monologues I did, and I had some pretty awesome monologues in RE5. So, but I mean, I always, I just remember in that session when Liam said, all right, and it wasn't even on the script, he goes, you will give me an egg. Say that. Oh, okay, that's funny. Okay. You will give me an egg. <laughs> are you happy, oh, Liam? I said, what's the next thing? He's like, no, really. Now let's do, I require an egg. And I'm like, are you sh uh, pooping me? <laughs> He's like, no. Anyway, so I just thought that was hysterical. I, have, I had no idea what it was for at the time, so I still love that line. Hey there, my question's with DC. Um, how long did it take to get the Wesker voice just right? I still am working on it. <laughs> the voice is really difficult because, again, as I've said, four people, have, uh, including me, have done the voice. So when I first did Umbrella uh, Chronicles, I came in, I auditioned for it. They, uh, because of the production people they were doing at the time, it was uh, Jessup's voice they played for us. So yeah, I had to kind of work that down. And his voice is, and he evolved the voice himself from the two games that he did, uh, two or three games that he did. He kind of it starts to get a little marble quality to it. And that was really difficult to do. But uh, uh, so I just was starting, and I still could never do it quite well. It was really phenomenal. And then when I went to do RE5, I thought, oh, I got the voice down. I've been working on Peter Jessup and all that. And I go in and they played Richard Wan. I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> So that was kind of difficult to, to like switch my brain in session to get that, and I, so I kind of it was, mine is more of a merging of the two plus my own thing on it, and then of course Wesker is like completely mutating during RE5, so I get to put my own spin even more so on it as it gets uh, for, as it gets crazier. So, and then since then doing these other games, I've, I've kind of settled into my my kind of uh, vibe for it, so it's been nice. But yeah, so it was difficult. So it was difficult taking over a role, which is why like doing Legion of Mass Effect was so much uh, easier. Because <laughs> no one had ever spoken as Legion before. How long are you in the studio when you're recording? Uh, Resident Evil 5? Yeah, for like It a... was over the summer, and I think we did them in like... I want to say there were two or four hour segments. There might have been four hour segments. And, uh, but I went back a lot, uh, and it was all facial mocap too, so... Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, but it was just one summer of 2008. And the game came out in 2009, so I guess it was 2008 I did that. All right. I'm down the front now. Here we go, question. Uh, this is for Mr. Douglas. Um, do you have to have your emotions captured? So, like, do you have to be taken to Japan and put on that suit with all the dots on it to have your... Uh, oh, you're talking about the full mocap? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, uh, for Resident Evil stuff, no, I only did the facial mocap. Ken Lally is the actor who does the, uh, the for at least RE5, does the uh, Wesker and that. And, uh, yeah, he's really, uh, he's awesome. He does a lot of that stuff. He's really good at it. And uh, I auditioned for it. <laughs> But I had thrown my back out. I had just bought a house and it was like helping them renovate because they're like, I'm spending the money, I might as well try to help, save a dollar. Um, and I lifted a bag of cement, threw my back out, and then I get the call from Ruben Langdon. That, I was trying to remember his name yesterday. Ruben Langdon, I have to credit for getting me back into RE5. On Roll Chronicles, I did. Then Ruben Langdon said, guys, you got to have to, you got to see DC again for RE, uh, uh, RE5. And he said, let's see if we can get him to do the mocap, the full body stuff. And so I went there. I said, listen, I just threw my back out. 
And also, I didn't work out then, so I was a little kind of out of shape. And I said, so I really, and like, no, you just, you can hold a gun, you walk around, it won't be much. So I go, okay. So I go to this, this huge little studio that they've got, and they've got all the people in like the padding and all of that, and I'm like, uh-oh. And so then the Japanese choreographer, my choreographer guy, you know, explains it in Japanese to somebody who translates it, and basically, it literally was like, a, he speaks in Japanese for about 10 minutes as he does this whole entire routine, rolling around, flipping and all of that, and I'm sitting here in pain on a lot of Advil, and I'm like, no, I can do this, <laughs> and even this is difficult. <laughs> and they're like, uh, and like, they kind of talk amongst themselves, and like, okay, just go in and fill out some paperwork, and we're done. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing the mocap on this game. Um, and I've actually I've only done the full mocap on one game. It was a NBA 2K14, which is a great experience. Um, but the uh, uh, Resident Evil 5, they did the facial mocap, which were the dots everywhere. They got the cameras at like a 180 degree bar, lasers pointing at you, and so you have to express yourself really big, even though Wesker doesn't express himself that much, and you keep your hands down, and like you're talking to someone, then you go to turn to talk to somebody else, but you can't turn, you just have to like think, just know you turned. It's a very bizarre experience. It's a really hard, because in voiceover, we're used to just being, you know, just a mic, and so we're doing all sorts of weird stuff to get the sounds out, and you can't do that in facial mocap. So it was an unusual experience. Perhaps. Which I would love to have again on RE7. <laughs> Ooh. RE7, you say? I just, yeah, I, uh, there's a rumor out there that they might be coming out with one. Well, you know what rumor is. Um, my question is, um, now that Capcom have um, decided to re-release the first game, are they going to be um, thinking about re-releasing Resident Evil Zero or, um, um, or um, remaking Resident Evil 2? All right, that's a good question. Thanks for asking it. Um, I'm just precariously cautious that zombies are behind me, so I'm a little, <laughs> a little nervous. You're going to get him killed! Um, yeah, it's, it's part of like uh, a lot of feedback that we've been getting from fans just now. Now, I can't conclusively say that like, we'll ever see those games come back out again, but we really take the sentiment of what everyone's asking on board. Um, the two big things, again, that we took away from it is we, people wanted to return to survival horror, and the other half were like, you guys just need to go back to the start again. So I think we're going to be looking really closely um, at what happens in terms of like feedback and, and sales as well from like these games. Uh, if they do well, if, if it seems that people really want us to go back to that, it's not for me to conclusively say, but you know, you, you could get that if people are, 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 those are the games they're wanting, never say no. I, I haven't heard that there's a plan in the works for that. All I know is that the producers are waiting to hear what happens and they'll make a call from that. Thank you for asking your question though. Young Dan. Right, we're going to get down the front here. It's this gentleman. Ask a question. Hi, um, I'm just wondering about uh, Revelations 2. Why was it split up into four different episodes? Oh, okay, so Revs 2. I'm just, I know there's a zombie around this corner as well, so I've got like one eye on the screen. Um, it's all right, I don't think I trigger him until I can see him in the mirror. If I get eaten whilst I'm answering this, I apologize. Um, so why was it split into, what, four parts? Yes. Um, that's a good question. Again, 